Okay, that was just a little short clip of what I went through at the hospital. Yeah, uh, it's very it's it, it it was a very scary time for me, and, and I'm still very scared of my situation. It's it's kind of bleak right now. The um, when she was doing the test, she was able to look at at my heart. You've got the left side and the right side, and there's a blockage on one side, and this this side here is been, or maybe the blockage is over here and this side here is working so hard to try to pump the blood in here and this side here pumps it to the body so this is the discharge and this is the return so this has tried been working so hard that it's gotten huge it's just really gotten enlarged on this side and it's not pumping very well at all so there's no indication of how big or how bad the, the, the blockage that I have is um, she's given me some medications and I'll show you that here in a minute She's given me some medications. One is a blood thinner to help the blood go through that blockage a little easier. Two, I've got another medication to help this weak, big side of my heart that's over, oversized now. The heart is, over, is over, over enlarged. And so it's, she's given me some medication to make this work a little harder to get the blood through. And then I've got some medication with aspirins in it and I've got some uh, more medications for the blood pressure. Uh, even after taking the nitroglycerin, an hour later or so, my blood pressure was back up to 200 over 105. So I've got a bunch of strong stuff for that. God, this stuff is expensive. And then um, just there's just a whole bunch of boxes here. Let me show you what they are. Look, look at all that stuff, guys. Look what I gotta take. Now this is the antibiotics for my pneumonia that I've got on my, my lungs. And it, I, hopefully it's gonna be cleared up and when I get back from, uh, when I get back from uh, Hong Kong, then I'll be able to, uh, I sh I'm supposed to go back to the hospital and have them take another picture of my lungs to see if it's cleared up. But this is all the rest of the stuff. I got all these boxes today. I got all these boxes today and because they were out, they only had four tabs, I only got two left, so I had to get more boxes of this stuff today. There's a couple thousand pesos right here, just these, these two little boxes here, four little boxes. This stuff is very, very expensive. It's gonna, my medication is going to run me about 120 US dollars a month. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that have made some comments about the insurance, uh, don't need to be criticized for not having insurance because I, I've never been able to afford it. Never been able to afford it in America when I was a family man because they just, it was too expensive because I'm self-employed. And then when I had a history of high blood pressure 20 something years ago, insurance companies wouldn't even touch me. They wouldn't even consider insuring me. Uh, today, I was able to go down and get my field health card. And I tried this two years ago and I found out I, uh, that the reason why I didn't get it two years ago is because I didn't have my I card, which is your uh, alien registration card or your alien form card. And I didn't have it because I went in a little bit too early until I got my card. Uh, so I got it today. It's not going to help me for what I've already spent. Uh, they can't go backwards and, and actually this is not going to be good until December 1st. Now, Phil Health. If you're a foreigner, you can get your own. You don't. You can get your own insurance. You're not going to have to be sponsored by somebody like it was when I got here. Um, I was being sponsored by the first girlfriend I had to nurse, the one that actually helped me on this this medical issue for me. Um, I'm going to pay three months. Actually, I did pay for three months, which is 600 pesos. It's 2,400 pesos a year. So I'm paying October, November, and December. The last quarter of the year, I paid them 600 pesos this morning, this afternoon, and I was able to get my card. Now, this will go into effect December 1st, and they don't care about pre-existing conditions. Now, my surgeries and the, and the testing and stuff, it's not going to be covered. I've got a brochure. I'm not going to pull out, but they, they have a lot of things that they will give you big discounts for. Some of it's free. Some of it's gigantic discounts, but not for what I've got, unfortunately. Um, my next step, I don't know, I don't know how much uh, it's going to cost me. <clears throat> Let me back up just a little bit again. I uh, just want to say thank you to the subscribers that have sent me some contributions. 
Um, I'm not sure what, what, what the numbers are right now, but it's real close to what I have uh, spent already and what it's cost me to, to do it but with the donations that have come in. So all of these tests and all these hospital visits and all this medication uh, right now are right at break even. Um, and I really appreciate you help guys. It's been a, a tremendous, tremendous help and a peace of mind too. Um, where I'm at, where I'm going forward, the doctor has authorized my trip to Hong Kong with the, with the aircraft and the pressure and whatever and, and oxygen content in the cabin, the cabin pressures and whatever. So he said, no, she said, no problem, just go and see me in a month. So when I get back, I'm going to, the next step I'm going to have to do is the angiogram, or and yeah, it's called an angiogram. And that's where they actually go in with another machine. This is going to be the third machine now, guys. Go in with another machine. And it's kind of like an echo sounder, x-ray. It's a, supposed to be the super duper killer machine. It goes in and looks inside the heart, looks inside the arteries, looks at all that stuff, and tells you exactly where the blockage is, how big it is, and what they're going to recommend to fix it, whether it's open heart surgery, whether it's stents. Um, I think they call that angioplasty, a stent. So the machine to, to do the scan is going to cost me 70,000 pesos just for the test. <coughs> I'm not sure uh, when I'm going to take that test. Uh, so 70,000 pesos is about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars the U.S. If they go in and they find, if they go in and, and, and find that I can fix it with stents, and she told me it's going to run about 760,000 pesos for a stent, for one stent. And it's going to be about 800,000 pesos for two stents. If it's open heart surgery, I have no idea. She didn't, we didn't even go that far. Um, I, I think two stents, 800,000 is around 8,000, $8, $8,500. <clears throat> I have it. Um, but just want to let you guys know this this is also good news good news bad news this is good information for you you expats that are moving to the Philippines you can see what I've gone through as an uninsured individual having a, a major heart attack and and having to having to work with the Philippine people here in the Philippine hospitals and actually I feel very very lucky uh, to gotten the care that I've gotten in a short amount of time and the results. I feel feel terrific today. I went in and I walked to Gasano Mall, uh, took a taxi over there, walked Gasano Mall, first and second floors, all over the place. I got the little picture made, got my photograph taken and then they laminated the card and I did all of that and I feel just terrific. It's a matter of getting the blood pressure down, it's getting a matter of thinner, and a little bit of peace of mind. And I've been sleeping. I got a terrific amount of sleep last night, so I'm feeling better each day. The pneumonia has been a, been a big hurt too, because uh, I'm not I haven't been able to get enough air. So I'm, I think the antibiotics are working well. Well, I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking video of my Hong Kong trip, you know, little short clips to show you about my. Um, uh, exit visa, visa runner actually uh, to, and I'll lay out, I don't feel up to it now, but I will make a video, series videos, I will show you what you need, what you're going to have to have in order to get your ECC, your exit clearance certificate, and then I'll show you what I did at the airport, I'm going to try to film going through customs if they'll let me, and then at the Hong Kong airport when I'm going through there, I'm probably going to sleep in a lounge area and there's a lot of chairs without armrest on it there. I looked into that. So I can lay and sleep on a on some chairs. Uh, I can't I don't I can't afford to go uh, get a room there in Hong Kong for eight, ten hours sleep. Um, it's just not it's just I just can't justify it. It's just not right. So I, I'll be comfortable enough. It's cold, but I have a I've got a pretty pretty cold sweater over here that I found in my uh, pretty warm sweater actually I found in a suitcase. Uh, that I that was that I still had, so that'll keep me warm. It'll be kind of a headrest on the airplane, and I think I'll be good to go. But I'll get some I'll get some clips of it, show you guys what you have to go through to get to get do to do your visa run. 
I actually feel a lot better. Y'all are going to probably comment that I'm looking a lot better it's because right now everything's under control and I'm not pushing myself. Um, the, your comments are just overwhelming. I, I can't believe it. I didn't think that there were that many subscribers that, that, that really followed me and I cared that much. Uh, uh, I try to do a good job here, you know, on, on my channel, and all your support has been been just terrific, and I appreciate it. Uh, I'm looking up here at the screen on this G7X Canon, and said I'm doing 10 minutes and 33 seconds. So this is going to be about a 14-minute video, a 15-minute video, kind of lengthy. But uh, I want to say thanks to all of you again, and appreciate everything. That, the donation as well as the moral support the comments it's a big it means a lot to me thanks a lot guys i really appreciate it and i'll keep you updated on what happens next thanks